I just got this message over Skype from Sam, as you see here. So what I want to do is I want to share up another timesheet for him and also make sure that I do payroll for the next period. So I'll minimize that and I'll bring up Internet Explorer and I'll go to drive.google.com bring that up. He usually does this on the Monday after the last day of the last pay period. So that comes up and I will show you. Now, I, mine is in folders, but I think I fixed it so that uh, you can just simply look for the one that begins with a one in front of it. So I'm going to go into master copy timesheet. I'm going to make a, going to double click this. Okay, now I want to do is I want to make a copy. All right, so I want to get rid of all this stuff that's leaving in of it. Of it. Let me go down to the end of the message. And this is going to be four. And I have to check the date on my calendar. You can look right here. You can see that. It's going to be four the 14th through the 25th. That's two weeks. Monday to Friday. Two-week pay period. November 14th through the 25th of 2016. All right, I click OK on that. Now I've got a new timesheet for him, but I need to share it to him. I'm going to click Share, and I'm going to enter Sam's email address. It automatically fills it up, folds it up. Just select that and click send. And at this point in time, he has a new timesheet up. But I need to use the old timesheet. So I'm going to close this one out. And I'll send a message to Sam saying, your new timesheet is ready. I may have to move it in, out of the master timesheet folder. But I don't think that you'll have to deal with that. Okay, so I'll go to uh, back to here. You see it's in that. I want to get it in the upper level folder. Let's see, move to. Okay. I'll go back to my drive, and you'll see it, November 14th through the 25th of 2016. And this one I'm going to need to use, because that's the one he just let, just finished. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that one up. And I scroll down. He always puts in the amount, the amount of mileage we have on the car. We have over 50,000 miles on that Kia. Most, are, most of it are around the city of Louisville. And it looks like that the... Paycheck dollars added for personal use of company car. It's a hundred dollars and eighty-eight cents. So I'm going to say I'll put move this aside for a second because I want to uh, bring up the QuickBooks payroll function. Going into QuickBooks, I'm running off off of Google Google Chrome because it seems to work better under Google Chrome. Enter password. Sign in. Okay. Then I want to go here uh, to employees. One payroll. And by the way, it says next payroll is due. 11:21. Let's see what the date is of his payroll period. The next check, I should say. Okay, so the payday is 11:23/2016. And I need to uh, go back to the spreadsheet that he finished, and I want you to put $100.88. 
into that QuickBooks entry. Unfortunately, the place where I need to put it is way down at the very end. So I've got to scroll until I see pers personal use of company car, $100.88. Okay. Everything else is uh, doesn't need to change. So I'm going to say preview pay payroll. And that's his payroll. Direct deposit of 510.52. Now, what I always also do is I will enter uh, the fact that this pay this uh, amount is withdrawn from our checking account. It's going to be automatically withdrawn from the QuickBooks account, but I keep track of the same information under my Quicken on online on my PC here. So let me go ahead and bring that up. I know I'm duplicating effort. It's a lot easier to uh, uh, do gear in testing. So I'll bring up my Quicken here. And I'll like to show it to you as soon as it comes up. Okay, and I'll go into Kindle Optometry Ministry. And the amount I'm going to enter for him, uh, it's going to take place 1123, 51052. 1123. Five hundred and ten fifty-two. Enter that in. All right, that makes easier to reconcile under my Quicken. That's online. So I, I reconcile my personal and my company account with my Quicken. You can reconcile it under QuickBooks Online, but frankly, I've never done it that way. So I go back, move that out of the way, and I'm going to say submit payroll. Okay. And now I want to print pay stubs. Uh, since what I'm going to do is just download it and save it. And again, this is uh, 1123 is the date of the paycheck. So print pay stubs. And here's where I can download it right up here. And I want to go into my documentation here. I'm going to find payroll checks. There it is. Uh, Jamie Houston was employee for a brief time. So I go into sound and I just just click on this one and just change the date. That way you don't have to type all that information in. January twenty third, I mean, excuse me, November twenty third. Save that. And now I've made a copy of it. Okay, so that that's been done. I'll go back to the employee but at this point pay, payroll is finished. I'm gonna click finish payroll. Okay, now I'm going to pay taxes also, because taxes are due. So let's see if I can uh, pay taxes. Okay, there it is. Federal taxes due date 11 16th, which is only two days away. I'm going to say create payment. And the payment amount is going to be 157.96. So I'm going to get, put that back into Quicken also. 157.96. Okay, this is the 16th. RS 157.96. Okay, so I've got that one in. Move that out of the way. Say create payment. And that way it's automatically paid. That's for two weeks of uh, uh, federal taxes that sound paid. And click ePay down here at the bottom. And payment is now confirmed. So I've paid it, I've uh, done the payroll, I paid the taxes. Now, I don't get that pay taxes function every time I do payroll. It only occurs like once a month. So now I want to go back to uh, I've got that downloaded file, but I want to give a copy of that pay stub to Sam. But to do that, I'm going to bring up a browser right here, and I'm going to go into Kindle Optometry Ministry, PDF, 
and look for payroll, checks, there's Sam, and there's the one I just put in there. So I'm going to bring forward Skype, well, that's not Skype, excuse me, bring forward Skype and have that kind of down at the bottom. And then I'm going to bring the uh, uh, Windows Explorer back up, and there I have this. I'm going to simply drag this over to, to Skype. Okay, it's ready to send. And I'll say, here is your face stuff. And it's already marked as sent. Right there. So he now has his face stub. And I've already made a copy of it. The last thing I generally do is I actually make a copy of it online. So I have this one right here. And I want to upload that <coughs> online. So I'll go back to Google Drive, and right up here it says New, do a file upload, and I'm going to find that document under Ken Law Optometry Ministry, that, that's uh, paste of, and let's say payroll, looking for payroll. There it is, payroll check, down, like that, open. It starts uploading, as you see down here. Now it's been uploaded. And now, I actually, I'm dra I drag it into previous pay steps. And if you don't have that folder pay steps, this is an optional step. Okay, so now I've got all the pay steps dragged in place. Now, this is the prior uh, pay timesheet. I also drag it out of the way, so it's not in the root level of my Google Drive. So I'll get drive that out to past timesheets right here. All right, now he's got his time sheet. It's up to the top, and he's ready to go. And so at this point in time, I have completed his payroll. I have given him a copy of the pay stub. I've saved a copy of the pay stub on Google Drive. Um, I've shown you the entire process. Okay, and I believe that is it. Now, there are some upcoming payments, but they're not due until the end of this month and the end of January 2017. And those, that's again another federal tax. And then this is the Kentucky income tax. Okay. So I think that's it. And hopefully this will be helpful to you. I'll go back to the home and I'll stop the recording. Let me figure out how.